It may sound like your typical miniature golf course, but it's far from it. On July 4th, the National Building Museum in Washington, D.C. opened what's sure to be one of the most unusual and most fun museum exhibits anywhere, a 12-hole miniature golf course designed by some of the region's preeminent architects, urban planners, and designers. We just thought it would be fun. That's Sarah Levitt, museum curator. Some of them are more whimsical, certainly, um, and then a couple of them um, have taken some Washington architectural features that will be familiar to people um, and kind of enhance that into a, a golf situation <laughs> where you're kind of golfing towards hitting the ball, to putting the ball towards the Capitol building or something like that. The firm Studios Architecture designed a hole resembling Canal Park, a project it's designing near Washington's Anacostia River. Associate Principal Ashton Allen explains. The hole itself uh, was kind of a, a perfect chance to both showcase that park and because the park is kind of a perfect miniature golf hole design, we were able to just build it. And we spent two weeks designing it as an office, coming up with ideas. Certainly this wasn't the only project that we considered to do. And then spent a week kind of putting a, you know, putting an elbow grease, everybody cutting and, 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 uh, and building and taking charge of a park. So it was a really great thing to bond the office as well as a, a fun thing to do for the building museum. Most of the holes, with their funky shapes and unusual designs, don't resemble anything you've seen on other miniature golf courses. Scott Schlotthauer explains the hole designed by his firm, Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. Uh, so the, the title of the hole is Confluence. Uh, what it is is a section of the Washington, D.C. If you can see on kind of this panel that it's a part of the lawn font original plan of Washington, D.C. We took that, uh, did an overlay with the current topographical data for the city, uh, creating these gradient charts for what the topography was, and then ran a script uh, through a computer program called Rhino that generated the different heights. So there's nine different heights of the, the extruded two-by-twos and gave us a, a printout of how many of each link that we were going to need and then just slow assembly process of you know, pixel after pixel after pixel of getting it uh, built. A, a little more thought into this than uh, just the, the windmill on a... Uh... Yeah, yeah, quite a bit more. Museum officials expect they'll get plenty of visitors who haven't had much interest in architecture and design in the past, but may become hooked after playing the course. It's been gratifying and exciting, and I think, um, you know, not totally surprising since we were hoping that um, that people would really, that this would spark their interest. Air-conditioned mini-golf, I mean, that's great. This is Ryan Holywell with Governing Magazine.